What we do in episode three is we reboot the whole story. We start again, right from the same place, and tell it from Claire's point of view. Henry is a time traveler and he pings back and forth through time. Claire is not. So she carries on living her regular life in a kind of logical order. It is her perspective on what it is to live with and love a man who is a time traveler and how that then impacts her life and her marriage with him. Here's what's gonna happen, I'm gonna disappear. When will I see you again? Soon, six days. The interesting thing about the narrative is obviously they meet out of sequence. And that's part of the complexity of it, you know, wh where do you begin and where do you end? We see how she time travels, one day at a time, in order the way you and I do. Can you make it tomorrow if you pull off another one? No, sweetie, of course not. What's it for, then? But she meets someone who is out of sequence, and we start to see how she develops around him. It's time travel, but from the perspective of the person who waits. You've got to be incredibly kind of patient, but also resilient in knowing that your man has gone and you're not sure how long he's gone for. But the, the kind of anxiety that then ensues upon her is full on. To achieve the concept of time travel, we had to put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> Naturally, we had multiple Henrys. So there's lots of us. Yeah. There was the one with the dark hair. There was the older Henry with the graying hair. And there's the sad one. Uh, we needed several Claire's, very little Claire has been over six to eight. Then we have what we call tween Claire, who's about 12. Henry! It was important to me that the young actress playing Claire, they had to have that quality of the essence of who Claire was. Strong, vibrant, sensitive. I most enjoyed playing the 16-year-old version. The, the clothes that I had to wear, but then also the kind of long, straggly hair. It was, it was fun. It was kind of like playing again. You say it's a magical time, childhood. But people's memories are so selective. The makeup and the prosthetics for when I turned 70 was wild. Like I had like an additional piece of flesh here and I was like, oh, that's so strange. Claire Abshire is somebody who is very persistent. She has a deep-rooted belief that she and Henry belong to one another. The problem always for Henry is he absolutely loves her. He has to conceal that fact. There's every chance you're going to find out, Claire. When? We're in the future? He needs to make sure that she knows that they're not together in the future because she needs to live. We see her go from a child... Hey, Claire. ...to an awakening woman and all those things. What are we looking at? The pool. The pool of men. The reason young people have parties, they are trying to meet each other and experiment with that extraordinary thing of falling in love with people, having relationships. Jason's filled out a bit. All that's going on with her. I'm gonna go dip my toe in the pool. It's a hazardous world, as she horribly finds out. Jason seems charming, but ends up actually raping her. I need you to kill him. Her desire for Henry to kill Jason, that is her once again running into the safety of his arms. She actually never tells Henry, but they confront him. Henry never knew the truth. So when I was with Henry, it stopped being true. When he just gets the whiff of the idea, that this guy might have hurt Claire, then he'll just kill it. What are you gonna do to me? Not sure. But then, it's wonderfully good news, wonderfully badly timed. Who are you? I'm her fucking husband! Finally, we see her learn that her imaginary friend is her future husband. The reveal is uh, one of the most important moments in the show, because it's complicated. He's been telling her that they don't marry. There's anger at the lies. There's also, I knew that we were meant to be together. I felt it in my bones. It's important to see how the little girl in the clearing becomes the woman we meet in the library. It's important to see what that journey was like.